Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Kenny here. And today I'm bringing you five things you should know before you start pole dancing. Are you ready? All right, so let's get into it. Number one is conditioning. Once you start pole dancing, you start learning some tricks, get into the flow, you're gonna realize that you're gonna have to condition a lot, especially if you wanna maintain certain moves, if you wanna get stronger, if you wanna get to the next level. And when I say conditioning, I don't mean just crunches, pull-ups, push-ups, you're conditioning your skin, you're conditioning your grip, your muscles, your mind, a lot goes on. Conditioning, and conditioning to me personally is not fun. I feel like it's kind of boring, but it definitely helps you level up and get better. I also have some YouTube videos, I'll probably link somewhere that you can try out if you want. Just have a little bit more fun while conditioning. So I call it conditioning while dancing. If you get my drift. Next thing you should know before starting pole dancing, you're gonna see different body types, different age groups, different, everything is different. Everyone is different, okay? So you can see someone that could be super slim like me. You can see someone that's plus size. You can see someone that may be younger. You can see someone that may be older. And when I say older, I mean like 50, 60, 70. Even younger as, even as young as maybe six, seven, eight, depending on like certain countries or certain places. Kids pole dance as well, which may be a surprise. Poles can hold up to well, I'm going to say up to 350-ish, but even probably more if it's mounted. I've seen three people on the pole, four people on the pole. So definitely, if you're plus size, don't let pole dancing, don't let your weight discourage you from pole dancing, okay? Men, women, non-binary, everyone dances. It's beautiful. I've seen it all. I love it all. And I'm here for it, okay? All right. Next, I'm going to talk about the standard clothes or clothing for pole dancing. So if it's your first pole class, definitely wear sports bra, crop top, shorts to start, okay? Some people come in leggings, depending on what the teacher teaches, you may or may not need your leggings, but definitely have shorts, okay? Once you get more comfortable, or you might see in class people wear less clothes. I don't know if you see me, but I wear like mm, <laughs> barely stuff. So bikinis, micro bikinis, you can also wear that too. Whatever makes you feel comfortable in your body. But just know the less clothing you have, the better because you need your skin to grip to the pole. So people aren't there to look at you and say, oh, look at her body, or I'm just saying her because I'm just, look at her body, like she looks like da 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 da, or you are too sexy da da da, no, 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 no. You are there for you, so you wear what you feel comfortable in dancing, okay? Also, again, back to the leggings, maybe you're in a class for floor work, so you definitely need more protection for your legs, for your knees, maybe tops that cover your shoulders, especially if you're sliding around on the floor, it might feel a little tough, but just dress appropriately for whichever class you decide to take. Next thing you should know before starting to pole dance is have a budget ready. Pole dancing is expensive. It's not one of those, I don't say one of those, but it's not necessarily a cheap hobby. You can curb cost in certain ways, but you're definitely going to spend money. I won't disclose how much money I've spent, but I've spent a lot, like a lot of money and I say that because once you start pole dancing especially if you get addicted you're probably gonna want to take more classes once you see how other people move you might want to get more outfits if you do especially if you do performances maybe heels accessories grips poles the list goes on and on and on so definitely find out what works well for your budget and then go from there on your journey okay because you don't want to be broke and pole dancing you want to pole dance enjoyably okay i hope that's the word <laughs> the last thing you should know before you start pole dancing is to have an open mind and positive attitude if it's your first class pole dancing 
it's going to be very hard. It's not easy. I wish I could tell you it is, it is easy, but it's really not. My first class, I definitely struggled a lot, okay? I couldn't climb. Oh my goodness, I was sore for at least a good two weeks, but I didn't necessarily feel discouraged because it's something new. You know, your body's not normally used to swinging around poles unless, I don't know, if you do that on the regular in general. I, it is tough, but you just have to keep at it, take your time, talk to other people in the class, maybe see what their journey was like, how do they feel about pole dancing. So don't feel discouraged at all. Also, again, back to anyone can pole dance. You're going to see a whole bunch of different body types, people, age groups, backgrounds, ethnicity. You Pole dancing is for everyone. And for me personally, it's a no judgment zone. So if you're in my class and you were being judgmental, like you would have to go. No cap. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so this is a space for us to enjoy ourselves. Like I said, have fun feel whatever you want to feel, maybe a little therapeutic for us, feel sexy, and yeah. So these are just my five little tidbits that I think you should know before you start pole dancing. And if you have any more, let me know. And if you have a favorite one, let me know below as well. Bye!